lovely ass. I've been doing shadow work for years and have gone even deeper since joining AEP. I can tell there are some deeply rooted traumas in my body that may be hiding or have been too deep to reach. Okay, so I just wanna point out this lovely, you see them, so you've reached them. Who's this other reacher? Do you get what I'm saying? I see there's something in here that's too deep to reach, then you've reached it. Now I wanna know who has this other job of reaching for where you've already reached. That's where your struggle is, right? You see it is you have reached it, but you might not have known that. So you have an egoic job that's different than what your soul has already done. Do you realize that because you've already reached it, your soul found it and you're able to sit through your soul, but your ego is trying to catch up and be the soul, right? Your ego is going, I want to match what the soul just did. So I need to be the one that caught it. I want the credit for overcoming it, right? So the soul found it. It's found. That doesn't mean it goes away the first 10 minutes. In fact, you're delaying it from just being naturally purged because you're trying to purge it, right? When it's time, it just falls out. It will just come out, but it won't be that big of a deal. It'll just gently, gently go and you'll just cry, cry out. I almost said crap because Lisa said crap and that influenced my cry word. But like, do you get what I'm saying, lovely? You already reached it. Can you be with, I reached it. I don't need to get it out. Seeing is reaching, right? So if you saw the pattern, you're done. Get present with it. Now it's time to bring in what I said earlier, which is, what has not seeing that pattern up until now given you as far as benefits? That trauma that was in your body. See, it can't get rid of it right away because you need to learn how wonderful it was too so you can learn unconditional love. Were there benefits to that trauma being buried in your body? Were there benefits to it not being able to come out? Were there benefits to even you seeing it and not being able to pull it out? Whoa, if you had pulled it out, you wouldn't have asked this question and we wouldn't have had this answer, right? There's so many other benefits you don't know about, right? That are happening if you take the other stuff we were saying earlier in the call. So instead of thinking, you know, I got to now pull it out, just know Seeing is reaching. You've exposed it. It's seen. The act of seeing it changes the consciousness of all, any of it. Lovely says, but I can't remember most of my childhood, so there's a bunch I haven't actually seen. Then you're not supposed to yet. Just let it show you what it decides it's time to show you. The you that's trying to figure it out, believe it or not, might not be ready do you get what I'm saying? To hear what it has to show you. So maybe there's a little you that's ironically trying to find out this, but it's being protected from hearing it. And it's in the way of it being heard. So instead of you deciding, I got to get to the root of all of this, it's stored in there for a reason. It's not ready yet. I know that if this makes you feel better, I know there's a ton of stuff still in my body that I don't know about. I'm making peace with that. Join me in that, right? The next part of her question says, should I keep waiting for them to come up? So hmm, what if we abandon that phrase come up anymore? Like I know we said stuff's coming up. I've said that a million times, but in this, I hear a force in this coming up, right? How about just seeing and letting it be there? right? What if we undo the one that has to get it up, that has to get it to come out, that has to get this thing out? What if the you that actively gets this shit out of your body is dying in itself, and we're really letting God do what God wants with you and with the trauma and with the past stuff? And what if you're implying worse things about what happened from all the energy of having to get it out? I mean, if you had someone in your house, like, we got to do something about, we got to do something about, and you're like, it's a clogged sink. It's fine. They're like, no, we got to do something about it now. You'd hear it as worse. And maybe the way you're hearing it from your egoic response is causing you to see it in itself as worse than it is because of your fear of it when it just is, right? 
It just is. And it's waiting for you to get to a presence of it just is. It just is. Whatever happened to you in your childhood, this is not a belittling of it. This is actually a real love for it. It just is. And if you are accessing a presence of it just is, maybe, and we don't do it to expect this, the universe will show you more. Why? Because you're a safe space to hear it and not a panicky child that has to do all the work herself. And maybe that's who's dying. That's what's going. The you that has to overcome the thing that you've already found. You get that? Does that help, lovely? Does that make sense? Lovely says, I've learned to surrender and allow things to be revealed in every other way except this. Now I get it. Beautiful. So, and thank God for the you that tried to get it out because that got you here. That has done a lot of stuff that probably could diagnose things quickly. That probably at one point was something that was needed for many different reasons to protect you from other things. Some of us are leaving our protector and moving into love. Like you're leaving a vibration of constant protection and moving into love, which will help divinely protect you, right? Hope that helps. 